am Star Connor from Star Access Now, talking to one of my favorite actors, Cole Hauser. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful, thank you. Right, and we're talking about season two of Rogue. It's kicking off um, next Wednesday, May 28th. So tell everyone about that um, for the fans that don't know about it and for the ones that, you know, watch it already. Tell us what we can expect this season. Right. Each year it's case by case. So this year it follows my character, Ethan Kelly. He's ex-military. He did uh, four tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. He comes back to America and starts a private security company for corporate espionage. And... Um, in doing that, it kind of red flags the FBI, who's Tanny Newton's character. And um, what you find out over 10 episodes is they have this deep, dark secret of something that they did over in Iraq. Right. And um, your co-star, Tanny Newton, mm -hmm. is also in the show. How is it working with her? I mean, she's fantastic. She's obviously a, a wonderful actress, but more importantly, a great person. Right. And I guess what um, what is Ethan Kelly's character... Um, all about and portraying this season? I mean, he's a very complex guy, uh, which I like. Uh, and Matthew Parkhill, who's the creator, you know, him and I really got deep into, into who this guy was and, and what, you know, and what the show is about is, you know, is this guy's journey, you know, and being able to deal with the friends that he has and, and Tandy's character, which is this kind of cat and mouse game that they play together. Right, and I've watched you over the years and been a fan of your movies. I guess, how do you, um, what's your, I guess, what's your take on how do you get into character? Because you play different things from, like, the good guy, the bad guy. What, how do you, you know, how do you go about your personality and getting into character? I mean, usually I get to wherever I'm going a couple of weeks before and start, you know, working if you have the opportunity with the director and, and the writer. And I did on this one. Nick Ham and, and Matthew Parkhill and I sat around for two weeks in Vancouver and just really talked about, you know, where we're going with this character. But what I was kind of expressing to them is I don't want to know exactly the end of the show, but let's figure out exactly who Ethan is and how he deals with all these different entities, you know, and he's got many different personalities, this guy. So he's, he's a very, like I said before, he's very complex and, and intelligent at the same time, too. You know, I think his, his fault is, is, you know, his love for his friends and, um, and then kind of how it all just comes crumbling down, you know. Right, and I know you're taking a director um, role um, this yeah. year. So what else do you have in store for 2014? Tell us a little bit about, you know, your director roles and yeah. what else you have in store. The Westies. Uh, it's about the rise and fall of the Irish mob in the 1970s. Uh, it's a script that I wrote. Um, you know, I worked really hard on it with Shane McCarthy, a uh, good friend of mine. And uh, we're in the process of casting, and I mean, I can't tell you who's in it yet, but uh, there's some amazing actors that have come on board, and uh, we look to shoot here in, Nuvo uh, I think, November, late November in New York. Right, and you just recently starred in the hit film Transcendence with Johnny Depp, Morgan Freeman. How was it working with these two men and all the great characters in that movie? Yeah, I mean, I worked with Morgan. I didn't have the opportunity to work with Depp, but uh, Paul Bettany, um, Kate Mara, uh, Killian Murphy, um, you know, they're, they're amazing. I mean, it was a loaded cast. Uh, you know, Morgan, to me, is like one of those guys that, uh, you know, he's a legend. So to have the opportunity to work with him and see how he does his thing was, was a real honor. Right. And I guess on another, I guess my last um, question for you, for the inspiring actors and actresses out there, um, mm -hmm. what is something that you would, you know, tell, I guess, a young child that's inspiring to be like you one day? Um, what are some positive words that you would give them? As actors? As that, are, that are inspiring to be an actor or oh. actress one day? Um, I would say, you know, you got to work hard, you know, and you, you have to put in your time. And, and, you know, I think what's important um, for everybody to know is that, you know, people do put in a ton of time as actors, you know, the good ones, and that they do care, you know, and it's not about being famous, it's about you know, being an artist and, and to, to just work, work your tail off, you know, continue to work hard. If this is your dream as an actor, then just put in the work and, and, and care, you know. Right. And um, where can all your fans go out to um, follow you, your Instagram, your Twitter? What else do you have out there? I just got a Twitter account, actually, for the first time, like three weeks in. you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> My wife finally just said, what are you doing? You got to, you got to. So it's at Cole Hauser. 
Yes, and you and you can follow me there. All right, so welcome to the social media family, Cole. <laughs> Thank you. It's right. about time, right? <laughs> yeah, it is, because, I mean, you've, you start in a lot of things, and you yeah. have a wonderful, you know, fan base. So do you also have a Facebook out there or no. Instagram? <laughs> She's going to get me on Instagram one of these days, but it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, wifey. <laughs> you can well, thank, thank my wife for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time, Cole. Thank I you, agree. Star. It, and I cannot wait to see season two of Rogue. It premieres next Wednesday, May 28th. So fans, tune in and watch 